spoiler alert, this is what we're going to be making today. It's a clear globe with a finial on the bottom and a mushroom top on it. And uh, I've been told I shouldn't quit my day job. And people that really know how to make finials uh, shouldn't need to worry about me encroaching on their business. Because this is uh, good practice for me. I'm not, not that good at making spears or finials, as you can see if you watch the whole video. Today I'm going to work on Christmas Ornament Challenge. I have great ideas. Uh, this is what I feel like is going to be my second ornament. So I had a better idea for the first ornament. I haven't made it yet. Um, but yesterday I realized I've got black walnut. And I want to make some finials out of this. And I luckily have cast a nice big square piece of resin inside this mold. So we're going to break this temporary mold out. I'm going to get the crystal out of here and I'm going to make a round snow globe ornament and then I'm going to put some walnut finials on it. And I'm not good at making spheres, I'm not good at making spheres, and I'm not good at making finials. So We'll just see what happens. So, to work on my Christmas ornament, uh, that's a bit of a scrap bin challenge as well. I'm going to take this to my metal cutting bandsaw and see if we can open it up and see what's inside. Wish me luck. Woohoo! Check this out! What do you think? Okay, so check this out. I think what we've got is something kind of funky. This is all hard as a rock. That's like Christmas snow. But down here, this is the way I plan to cast this. A nice solid clear chunk without any bubbles. So I'm debating whether I cut it right in half inside the can or if I try and get it out. I'm going to put some gloves on and see what happens. Now we are back at the bandsaw and we are going to cut this piece in half. And I also want to thank the guy that told me I didn't know what I was doing and I was going to cut my fingers off that uh, uh, inspired me to get my Herbert the Freight thing and put a back on it and a sled on it and I clamp this on here so now I'm going to cut this by staying way out of the way Ooh, that's working good I've got some movement in the acrylic itself that I don't necessarily like. So, I'm going to put this up here. This is where we are now. I've got a bit of a challenge here. This is a little bit gooey down in here. Not exactly sure why. 
so I'm going to find some way to turn this between centers on some cups. Just kind of part this off and then work on it from here. This is where we are. I've got this made here, but I don't necessarily like it. I've got this cup made here, and I don't necessarily like it. I'm going to turn it on. It looks like this end is wobbling a little bit. So I was trying to take the ends off it. So this is the final setup I ended up using. Put that tailstock in there and that in here like this. So I've turned it and polished it with my four step polish and I have nubs on each end. I didn't get a full circle out of it. Um, and it's not as clear as I had hoped. So you can't really see these nubs, so I'm going to put some finials on it and uh, see how it looks. But, kind of fun so far. <laughs> I don't know if this stuff will scrape or not. Okay, parting this off is a bit unconventional. You see how this is flopping like mad. Well, I had quite a bit inside the jaws of the chuck, and because I don't like working that close to that, um, I pulled it out, remounted it, and it's wobbling, but it's good enough to part it off and to give me a little bit more length here, so I put a little bit more of a curve on that. So that's going to be kind of the cool finial for the bottom of this space orb. Remember we're working with this golden clear globe. Okay, let's part it off and be done. Now I've got a nice big piece of wall that I'm going to come around and then I'm going to cut it in half and bring build what I'm going to call the top hat for this ornament out of this end of it. So I'm just roughing it.
This is the shape I have for the top. I don't know how, I don't know why. It just kind of came out when I was cutting it. And I think to follow the bottom, I think when I part this off, I'll try and make it That's nice the way the shot. top of it's going to look. With the clear globe, glob, globe, glib, glab. So I'm about ready to put some walnut oil on this. I guess it's English walnut, I might as well put Mahoney's walnut oil on it. Go. Soak it. Oh, I don't really want to put any in that end though. Cause that's where I'm going to be gluing it. Goofball. Seriously, watch out. We have completed our Christmas ornament for the Christmas ornament challenge. As you can see, I've got this funny globe here. I've got my mushrooms on top and my finial on the bottom. I drilled a one millimeter hole in it, threaded a needle through it, and I can hang it. Um, I glued it together with Gorilla Glue. Um, in hindsight, I should have used some clear silicone or something. You can see the, uh, the Gorilla Glue a little bit. But anyway, it was uh, more of an adventure than trying to do something perfect. So, there's my ornament. <laughs>